Volunteers in the UK will deliberately be infected with COVID-19 after the government said it would help fund trials to speed up the development of a vaccine. Some say the trials are a faster way to get the vaccine sorted and developed, but they do come with some physical and ethical questions. Luke Canrahan reports. Infection rates are on the rise as England re-enters lockdown. Now the UK is pushing ahead to be the first in deliberately infecting volunteers with COVID-19 as part of a so-called human challenge trial. Researchers at Imperial College London aim to test the smallest amount of virus it takes to cause the infection by exposing it to 90 healthy 18 to 30 year olds, those at the lowest risk of harm. It's like being shot up to the moon, you know, you're part of the first landing and it's really important because you're making an impact for so many different people. After exposure to COVID-19, young volunteers like Courtney Harmston will need to stay in isolation at a biosecure facility until they're no longer infectious. If proven safe in clinical trials, Courtney and others could then become vaccine candidates. I could get COVID even going to work or to my office. You know, I could get COVID walking down the street and someone coughs and I'm within an aerosol distance from them and suddenly I've got COVID. So I'm not worried about this because I know that I'll be in a safe environment where I'll be taken care of by, I mean, incredible doctors who will be monitoring my temperature and checking everything. You know, it's much better than, say, getting COVID and being at home. So I feel very excited and also really safe about doing this. Volunteers are being financially reimbursed for their time. The UK government is putting more than 36 million euros towards the potentially groundbreaking work. The trials have the potential to yield much faster results than conventional vaccine field trials in which researchers have to wait for participants to be exposed to the virus in the real world. But some leading medical experts have their reservations about exposing volunteers to a virus for which there is currently no cure. Why, in your eyes, is it ethical? I think you could make the argument that it's unethical not to do these studies if it's practically possible to do, do them. The reason I say that is that at the moment we have an emergency on. We need to do everything we can to understand this virus better and to accelerate vaccine development. We think that we can do this with very minimal risk to the volunteers. The amount of benefit that we can, we can get from do, doing these studies is so great that really there is an ethical imperative to do them. The Imperial study could be the first to provide the opportunity to compare head-to-head -head vaccines to discover which one works best. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews, London.